Hello, I'm Asong Wancha. Thank you for watching my video channels. So today we're going to talk about DB, what DB is, and then we're going to talk a little bit about DBM and DBV. So in summary, we're going to talk about what DB is. We're going to talk about why we're using DB in electrical engineering. We're going to give some practical examples, and then we're going to talk about the shortcuts on calculating db to a simple number or from a simple number to db and in the end we're going to talk about dbm and dbv so what is db db is a ratio of two numbers usually very large number to a reference number or a very very small number to a reference number and it doesn't have a unit it is very very important to remember that db does not have a specific unit and it's just a ratio usually of big numbers or small numbers and it's always in decibels so at first we're going to give the formula for db in general db when we want to give the ratio of power is 10 log of P of output to P of input or P of one thing, power of something to power of something else. And when we want to talk about ratio of voltage or gain in dBs is 20 log of one voltage to a reference voltage. So as an example for dB, if we have an amplifier, which in input, it gives us one volt and for output, it goes to half a volt so the gain of it is becoming half so in db when we want to calculate what is the ratio of the output to the input in voltages which when we want to give it in db we wouldn't have any values which we would say what how much is it in db is 20 log of output to input which is 20 log of half over one, and when you use the calculator, it would give you minus six dB. And now another example, when we wanna say how much the gain is, when we have one amp as input and one microamp as output, this is a big number. So it's, the output is one over a million. So when we wanna calculate this, in our formula and in our calculations, if we use dB, it would be much easier to work with. So in dB, it would be 20 log of our output, which is one microamp over one amp. And when we calculate it, it would give us only 120 minus 120 dB, which is pretty much smaller than one microamp. Now, as another example, if we have three amplifiers connected together, our input first multiplies by two, and then the gain of the second one, it's multiplied by 10, and the third one, 31.62. So if we want to calculate the output over the input, the ratio of it, we have to multiply three numbers, which it would give a really hard time for us this example is a little bit easier, but usually it would be huge numbers, multiplications to each other, which it would be a hard time for us. So instead of doing that, we can simply do it in dB. So if the gain is twice, the output is twice of the input, as we saw in the previous formulas, if we use that, it would give us 6 dB. If it's 10 times, it would give us 20 dB. And in, if it's 31.62 times, it's 30 dB. So instead of multiplying real numbers for the result of output to input ratio, we can simply add the dB values, which would be 6 plus 20 plus 30, which is 56, which is pretty much easier rather than doing the multi multiplication. So now we're gonna talk about an example from the signal analyzer. Signal analyzer, as you can see, it's a scale 
and it shows the voltage in, in respect to the frequency that we have. So here, if we're having an example regarding a linear scale, if we have a linear scale and we want to show the signal in different frequencies plus the 5 gig and we have a 1 volt signal in our 5 gigahertz frequency if you want to show the noise of the frequencies close by 5 gig or if you want to show the ground level noise we wouldn't be able to show it easily with linear magnitude since let's say our ground noise is one microvolt, it is a really, really small volt. So in comparison to one volt, it's one over a million of one volt. So if we want to show it, the ground level, it would be completely at the lowest level and it won't be observable. Now, if we use dB and convert everything to dB, as you can see, for 1 volt, we can give 0 dB. And if we translate the 1 microvolt to dBs, it would be minus 60 dB. So without any issues, we would be able to show the ground noise before the 5 gigahertz frequency. So it's pretty cool and it would be pretty easier to measure the frequency analyze the signal through db one of the pretty cool stuff that you can learn is how to do calculations of db in your mind without using a calculator so for magnitude as you know and as we talked about db is 20 log of v1 over a reference voltage so when we calculate it if our output to input, if our voltage to a reference voltage is half, it would be 6 dB. So minus 6 dB. So minus 6 dB, it's always equal to the ratio of half. So it's obvious that if minus 6 dB is ratio of half, then plus 6 dB would be twice. It means, let's say, uh, amplifier example, it means that for example, the voltage has been doubled. Also, if we have minus 20 dB, it's, it means it has been multiplied by 0 0.1. The ratio of the voltage to the reference voltage would be 0 0.1. As if we have positive 20 dB, it would be 10 times the amount. In an example of how we can use dB and how we can calculate dB in our mind without using a calculator, we are going to calculate 10,000 to dB. So 10,000 is 10 multiplied by 10 by 10 by 10. So each 10, as we talked about in magnitude, it's 20 dB. So it's 4 times 10. So we're going to add 4 dB. 20 dBs together. As a reminder, when we are doing the number, it's multiplication. When we translate it to dB, it's adding. Besides that, if it's divide in number, we use negative. In another example, if we want to translate 500 to dB, it's 0 0.5 times 10 times 10 times 10. So half was minus 6 dB and 10 is 20 dB. So we can simply add them together and we would have 54 dB. That was pretty much easy to calculate rather than using a calculator and pushing a lot of buttons. So now we're going to talk about calculating the power ratios. As you can see, uh, for power, P1 over P of reference, if we want to do the ratio in dB, it's 10 log of P1 over P of reference. So if a power is half of our reference power, we would give, we would have minus 3 dB. And if a power is twice of 
the other power is positive 3 dB. And respectfully, minus 10 dB would be 0 0.1 and 10 dB would be 10. So if we have a scale in dBs regarding power and our reference is 10 times less than our power, 10 dB less, which means our P1 is 10 dB higher than our reference. In reality, in real numbers, it means our power is 10 times the reference. That's pretty cool. As an example, 10,000, this times when we're doing power, it would be 10 multiplied by 10, multiplied by 10, multiplied by 10, which is 4 10 dBs being added together, which would give us 40 dB. Now we're going to talk about what dBm is. dBm is a ratio of power to reference to 1 milliwatt. In other words, dBm is a specific value. So whenever we say dB, it does it's nothing. It's if we say something is 3 dB, when we give 3 dB, it's nothing. We don't understand what that is because it doesn't have a unit. It doesn't have a value. It's just we're giving a ratio of something. But when we say dBm, we're being specific and we're talking about a value of something in dB in respect to 1 milliwatt. So when we say something is minus 3 dBm, it means it's half a milliwatt. Respectively, when we say something is 3 dBm, we mean it's 2 milliwatt. Now, if we add 6 dB to it, since each 3 dBm is 2 milliwatt, we're twicing the power. So by adding 3 dBm to our scale, we're multiplying our power in 2. So it would be 4 milliwatt. Again, if we add another 3 dBm, it would give us, multiplied by 2, 8 milliwatts. And respectfully, 12 dBm is 16 milliwatt. Now for dBv, you might see it some places. dBv is in reference to 1 volt, which means dBv is 10 log of voltage over 1 volt. Now, some practical stuff that you might see at work or at school is what would 0 dBm be in RF situations? Usually when we use a zero, uh, uh, for 0 dBm with a 50 ohm load, 0 dBm corresponds to 0 0.224 volts. In other words, 0 0.224 volts dissipates 1 milliwatt in 50 ohm load. Now, now we're going to talk about 0 dBm in audio. With a 600 ohm load, 0 dBm co would correspond to 0 0.775 volts. In other words, 0 0.775 volts dissipates 1 milliwatt in 600 ohm load. Okay, so that was dB and what you need to know in general for dB in electrical engineering. Thank you for watching. And if you liked our video, don't forget to subscribe. Have a good day.